so here we are, the last day of the Kimblitz. What a journey it's been, eh? Perhaps we'll have a summary of it all later, but not yet. Besides, it's still the start of the month when I'm editing this. Anyway, seeing as today is a day that only happens once every four years, I thought it should be paired up with a rare occurrence on this here channel. We've got a thoroughly modern game to end the Kimblitz. And it's the game that was my undoubted favourite of last year. There were other candidates, I got plenty of post-apocalyptic murder-based fun out of Fallout 4, have had a few dalliances with particularly awful levels in Super Mario Maker and so forth, but honestly there was Rocket League and then there was everything else. Rocket League basically took over my life for about 5 months, how could I choose anything else, I mean, really? So Rocket League is… well, it's a sport. You control your rocket powered battle car and with your team you try and get the ball in the opponent's goal. Simple. There's no fouls and there's plenty of boost, you can demolish other cars with it, speed back to the goal, or even try to go flying. But still, it all comes down, just to, trying to get the ball into the goal. It's like that one bit in Top Gear where the three twats do the same with regular cars and a big foam ball, but with the addition of a megaton of nitrous oxide and plenty of those horses that power things. Rocket League is the sport of the future. What I love about Rocket League is that playing it and learning it does actually feel kinda like a real sport, it's quite a lot like playing football. Your first few games will probably be largely spent vainly chasing the ball, always going to the place where the ball was a couple of seconds ago. As you get more experience and the hours stack up, you gradually learn the ropes, you start getting into the best positions, you start anticipating where the ball's going to go, and you know just how to approach the ball so that you get a nice, clean hit. It becomes ever more natural. And it's around this point where, if you're particularly willing and particularly dedicated, the tricks and the flying might just start to come out. It makes for decent spectator sport too. It hasn't really happened, but I always thought that Rocket League, being so simple to understand, might be something that would actually make esports more appealing to regular folk, as opposed to the likes of League of Legends. <laughs> hey ho. There's still no end of folks on the tubes and whatnot who show off their skills, your Quinovis and what have you. Quite fun to watch, not least because they make something so complex look so effortless. Rocket League was also a surprise for me because generally I don't do all that much online multiplayer, there's not a whole lot of call for it on the Mega Drive or the Amiga. But this game makes playing online a riot. It helps that games are always short, coming in at 5 minutes only, but there's always the desire to do well in every single match. Of course a lot of that does depend on how your team shapes up, sometimes you'll be part of a good team if only for a few minutes that knows what the others doing, that are nice and respectful and, you know, it's a decent experience and you'll probably beast the other team. And then other times you'll be in a disorganised mess of a team that absolutely despises each other, and you'll get trampled. It's all about the team. Because this is online after all, I mean it'd be unthinkable to actually blame a bad team performance on your own play, wouldn't it? Talking of which, being a popular online game, yeah you do get the odd twat. Of course you do. But heh, that's par for the course online really. Generally most games are pleasant enough and they always tend to play out with minimal lag for me. If you're not at all into online play and absolutely nothing's going to change that, then obviously I wouldn't recommend it, but if you've ever had even the slightest inclination towards online play, then this could be one of those few games that just about pull you right in. Rocket League in the end was the best game of 2015 for me just because every time I played it, it felt like something different was going to happen. 
You learnt to expect the unexpected. There was even a bit of pressure at times. Hell, it almost felt like a miniature recreation of a proper match day. And it was the easiest to love. The one that never had to reach even once when it came to gradually showing off all of its positives, its charms, and ultimately its genius. With every game I played, I felt like I learned more. Every time I played, I just got better and better. And I played Rocket League for many hours. And hell, I still play it now. What with the addition of a snow day mode and an ice hockey puck? Well, there's just even more to love about this game, and I hope that it stays popular for years to come, because it might just be the best experience I've ever had playing online in a game. Obviously I'm not an expert, but it takes something special for me to get drawn into an online game, and Rocket League was it. My favourite game of 2015, and a perfect way to draw the curtain on this whole ridiculous affair. The Kim Blitz is over. 29 reviews have come out in 29 days and, well, maybe it's just about time for me to rest a little. Nah, nah. Actually, I think I'll just play some League. And this is the only League that matters. Bye for now.